the team of flexion is pneumonia, pleuritis, bronchitis, bronchial asthma, spirometry, peak flowometry, pulse oximetry. The respiratory system examination in healthy person. Pneumonia is an infection lesion of the alveoli accompanied by inflammatory cells infiltration and lung parenchyma exudation. Classification of pneumonia Community acquired pneumonia Nosocomial hospital acquired pneumonia Pneumonia in immunodeficiency state Complications Pleurisy, pericarditis, infectious toxic shock, meningitis, coma, renal and hepatic failure. Pneumonia is divided into mild and severe, segmental, one-sided and bilateral, lobe, subtotal and total. Community acquired pneumonia. Definition. Pneumonia which has developed outside of the hospital causes gram-positive flora, pneumococcus, mycoplasma, hemophilus influenza, risk factors, hypotemia, childhood and old age, tobacco smoking, chronic diseases of internal organs, immunodeficiency, viral infections, Bronchoobstructive syndrome, aspiration, blood loss, chest trauma, postsurgical period, and other hypostatic conditions, congestive heart failure. Nosocomial or hospital acquired pneumonia. Definition. Pneumonia that develops more than 48 hours after hospital admission causes gram-negative infection, pseudomonas aeruginosa, klebsiella, escherichia coli, proteus, staphylococcus aureus, anaerobes, risk factors, being in the intensive care unit, Mechanical ventilation, intubation and reintubation, tracheostomy, aspiration, abdominal surgery, brain injury, coma, diabetes mellitus, chronic renal failure, bronchiectasis, influenza, immunosuppression, bronchoscopy, COPD, H over 60. Look at the X-ray. You can see left infiltration of the lung tissue. This is left-sided nosocomial pneumonia. With pneumonia, there is a syndrome of inflammatory compaction of lung tissue, which is characterized by a dull percussion tone and pathological bronchial breathing over the lesion. Lung inflammatory consolidation syndrome in the infiltration stage. Chest pain with deep breathing. Lagging of the affected side in chest expansion. Increasing vocal fremitus and bronchophonia. Limitation of respiratory mobility of the affected lung. Dull percussion sound. Diminished vesicular bronchial breathing. Late inspiratory crackles. Crepitation. Pleural friction rub is possible. Lung inflammatory consolidation syndrome in the hepatization stage. Chest pain during deep breathing. Lagging of the affected side in chest expansion. Increasing vocal phremitis and bronchophonia. Limitation of respiratory mobility of the affected lung. Absolute dull percussion sound, pathological bronchial breathing. Listen for crepitation and moist rails on the pathological bronchial breathing background.
lung inflammatory consolidation syndrome in the resolution stage, chest pain with deep breathing, asymmetry in thoracic expansions, increasing vocal fremitus and bronchophonia, limitation of respiratory mobility of the affected lung, dull percussion tone, diminished vesicular bronchial breathing, Late inspiratory crackles, crepitation, and moist rails. Listen for inspiration and expiration crackles or moist rails. Examination for pneumonia, chest X-ray, computed tomography, sputum smear staining by gram, sputum culture with determination of sensitivity to antibiotics, complete blood count, plasma C-reactive protein level. Examination for pneumonia. Chest X-ray, homogeneous or inhomogeneous, intense or non-intense infiltration, shadow. Complete blood count, leukocytes with left deviation, elevated ESR, toxic granulation of neutrophils in seven pneumonia, sputum analysis, leukocytes erythrocytes, short-term hemoptysis, microflora, blood Biochemistry, elevated plasma, CRP. Look at chest X-ray. You can see total infiltration in patient with right-sided pneumonia. You can see total infiltration and exudative pleuritis in patient with right-sided total pneumonia. There is the chest X-ray of right-sided abscessing pneumonia. You can see abscess of the right lung. Pleuritis is characterized for inflammation of the pleura with exudate accumulation in the pleural cavity. Etiology of pleuritis, inflammatory processes in nearby or distant organs, pneumonia, lung abscess, tuberculosis, amoebiasis, pancreatitis, for allergic diseases, for rheumatic fever and diffuse connective tissue diseases, post-traumatic tumor or metastasis from other tumors. Clinical signs of dry pleuritis. Pain when breathing, coughing, bending to the healthy side. Faucet position of the affected side. Lagging of the affected side in chest expansion. Limitation of respiratory mobility of the affected lung. On auscultation, breathing is weakened with a pleural friction rub. Listen to the plural rap. Clinical signs of exudative pleuritis. Heaviness in the affected half of the chest. Dyspnoia. Faucet position on the affected side. Lack and enlargement of the affected chest side. Vocal fremitus and bronchophonia are weakened or not determined. The percussion tone is dull. 
the damazolain is oblique. Breathing over the exudate is weakened or not determined. Compression at electasis syndrome above the damazolain is Garland's triangle. Examination for the syndrome of fluid accumulation in the pleural cavity. Pleural puncture with revolta reaction. Bacterioscopy of smears with sputum culture. Pleural fluid analysis. In case of suspected tuberculosis, in vitro inoculation on special media. Bacteriological study of pleural fluid to identify mycobacteria. Sediment cytology. Thoracoscopy and pleural biopsy. Consider the differences between transudate and exudate. Transparency, transudate, almost transparent, exudate, untransparent. Consistency, transudate, unviscous, exudate, viscous. Density, transudate, less than one point, fifty hundreds. Exudate, more than one point, fifty hundreds. Protein content, transudate, less than thirty grams per liter. Exudate, more than 30 grams per liter. Revolta reaction, transudate negative, exudate positive. Leicocytes, transudate, less than 10 to 3 degrees per liter. Exudate, more than 10 to 3 degrees per liter. Microflora, transudate, no, exudate, available. Chest X-ray data. With transudate, the damaso line is horizontal. The mediastinum is shifted in the opposite side. With exudate, the damaso line is cuff shape. The mediastinum is shifted in the opposite side. At least from 3 to 500 millimeters of fluid must be present before chest X-ray. Can detect a pleural effusion. Lifting of liquid level line by one rib corresponds to fluid increasing by 500 millimeters. This rentgenogram shows a right-sided hydrothorax. We see the horizontal line of the muzzle. Below this line, transudate. Above the muzzle line, Compression at electasis syndrome. On the presented rentgenogram, left sided exudative pleurisy with an oblique of the muzzle line. Above this line is an area of compression at electasis. Acute bronchitis definition. Acute bronchitis is an acute disease, duration from two to three weeks of predominantly viral etiology with a leading symptom in the form of a cough and symptoms of an apeia respiratory tract infection. Etiology Viruses in 90% cases Parainfluenza Influenza respiratory syncytial virus, coronavirus, adenovirus, rhinoviruses. Bacteria in 10% cases. Mycoplasma pneumonia, chlamydia pneumonia, bardetella pertussis, Ravely, streptococcus pneumonia, hemophilus influenza, maraxella catarallis. Risk factors of acute bronchitis Tobacco smoking The impact of physical and chemical factors Damp and cold climate Seasonality Autumn, winter, early spring Allergic diseases and immunodeficiency states Viruses and bacteria This slide shows the changes in the bronchi in acute bronchitis. We see a significant narrowing of the bronchi due to inflammation and the release of sputum 
into the lumen of the bronchi. The symptoms of acute bronchitis, characterized by a cough that lasts no more than three weeks, regardless of sputum production, in the absence of signs of pneumonia and chronic lung diseases that can cause cough, acute cough in combination with one of the symptoms, fever more often with a moderate increase in temperature, sputum production, dyspnea, Wheezing dry veils in the lungs, discomfort in the chest. There may be chills, sore throat, nasal discharge, sweating, difficulty swallowing. Laboratory and chest X-ray diagnostics. Leukocytosis more than 10 to 12,000 and O step leukocytes shift more than 10%, increase in serum C-reactive protein, more than 100 mg per liter, a high possibility of pneumonia. Sputum is mucus or mucopurulent, absence of symptoms of local damage to the lung tissue, increased voice trembling, dull percussion sound, abnormal bronchial breathing, crepitation, Moist rails, chest X-ray, no infiltration of lung tissue. Chronic bronchitis, definition. This is bronchial disease, which is manifested by cough and sputum production for at least months, a year, and at least two consecutive years with the exclusion of other bronchopulmonary or cardiovascular diseases with chronic productive cough. Risk factors of chronic bronchitis. Tobacco smoking, the impact of physical and chemical factors, damp and cold climate, seasonality, autumn, winter, early spring, allergic diseases and immunodeficiency states, viruses, Influenza, adenovirus, bacteria, streptococcus pneumonia, hemophilus influenza, maraxella cataralis. Genetic factors. This slide shows the changes of the bronchi in chronic bronchitis. We see a significant narrowing of the bronchi due to inflammation and the release of sputum into the lumen of the bronchi. Main causes of possible bronchial obstruction. Bronchospasm as a result of exposure to exogenous factors and inflammatory changes in the mucous membrane. Hypersecretion of sputum, a change in its rheological properties with a violation of mucociliary clearance and blockage of the bronchi with a viscous secret, metaplasia and hyperplasia of the epithelium, inflammatory edema and infiltration of the mucous membrane. The symptoms of chronic bronchitis, cough history, unproductive or cough with sputum production for three months for at least two years in the absence of other bronchopulmonary diseases leading to cough, during and exacerbation, hard breathing, expiratory expanding and wheezing dry rails, on auscultation over the lungs, possible bronchial obstruction during spirometry, while at the same time, a ratio of faucet expiratory vital per one second to faucet vital capacity less 0.7, faucet expiratory vital per one second less than 80 percent, and faucet vital capacity is known during an exacerbation of chronic bronchitis, significantly regresses or disappears during remission, laboratory signs of the inflammatory process. 
the classification of chronic bronchitis according to functional characteristics, non-abstractive and abstractive, according to nature of inflammation, catarrhal, mucopurulent, or purulent, according to degree of severity, light or medium or heavy, according to phase of disease, aggravation, unstable remission, and clinical remission. Next disease, bronchial asthma. Bronchial asthma is a chronic pulmonary disease characterized mainly by allergic airway inflammation and reversible bronchial obstruction. The obligatory clinical manifestation of asthma is suffocation attacks or status asthmaticus. Causes of bronchial obstruction Bronchospasm, inflammatory edema, and eosinophilic airway infiltration, increased production of bronchial secretions. Classification of bronchial asthma, allergic asthma, non-allergic asthma, mixed asthma, status asthmaticus, mild intermittent, mild persistent, moderate persistent, Severe persistent. Main phases. Exacerbations. Mild, moderate, severe. Remission. Controlled. Particular controlled. And uncontrolled bronchial asthma. The main signs of uncontrolled bronchial asthma are daytime symptoms more than two times per week. Any night time Awakening due to bronchial asthma. Reliever needed more than twice per week. Any activity limitation due to bronchial asthma. The patient with controlled bronchial asthma have none of these signs. The patient with particular controlled bronchial asthma have one or two of these signs. The patient with uncontrolled bronchial asthma have from three to four of these signs. Asthma attack usually occurs after contact with an allergen, inhalation of cold air, exercise, stress, overdose of sympathomimetics, repeat decrease of glucocorticosteroids after bronchopulmonary infection, examination, chest in the position of maximum inspiration, dry wheezing on expiration, fixation of the chest muscles, the ribs are located horizontally, the intercostal spaces are expanded, the chest may appear hyperinflated, the respiration mobility of the lungs is limited, the expiration is longer than inspiration. In this case, a clinical example of a typical faucet position of a patient during an asthma attack is presented to your attention. The patient leans his hands on the bed to improve the work of the respiratory muscles. The main results of bronchial asthma patient examination sputum analysis, Cushman spirals, eosinophils, Charcolidin crystals, complete blood count, eosinophilia in allergic bronchial asthma, spirometry, reversible bronchial obstruction, positive test with bronchodilators, positive allergy tests in remission of asthma, peak flowometry, decrease of peak expiratory flow. In this case, you see two spirograms of two patients with bronchial obstruction syndrome. This syndrome is characterized by a decrease in the ratio of faucet expiratory volume in one second to faucet vital capacity in combination with a decrease of faucet expiratory volume in one second. Faucet vital capacity of the lungs 
из нормал. Транскутениас палс оксиметри. Палс оксиметри из юз ту межи энд монете хемоглобин оксиджен сатюрэйшин и натериалайст микст блад. Палс оксиметри мэкс эписабилити to record the level of blood oxygenation. Normal oxygen saturation of hemoglobin value is 95 to 97%. At oxygen saturation of hemoglobin less than 92%, the study of blood gases and the acid base balance using the Astrup micro method is indicated. It is a protocol for monitoring blood oxygenation using transcutaneous pulse oximetry. The doctor receives the necessary information about the minimum, maximum and average values of blood oxygen saturation and heart rate. Indicators are recovered every two seconds. This is followed by a spectral analysis that allows the doctor to identify episodes of low oxygen saturation and the response of the cardiovascular system. Day three day. Breathe, please. The voice is not changed. Nasal breathing is free. Let's count the respiratory rate. Breathe, please. The respiratory rate is 19 per minute. Breathe actively, please. The type of breathing is mixed. Turn your back to me, please. Breathe deeply, please. Deeply, breathe deeply. Both halves of the thorax are symmetrically involved in breathing. Let's determine the type of the thorax. For this, we must analyze the main characteristics of the chest. The supraclavicular and subclavicular forces, intercostal spaces, are moderately expressed. The epigastric angle is 90 degrees. Turn your back to me, please. The scapulae are moderately close to the chest. In a result, the thorax is nomasthenic. Superficial palpation. Do you feel a pain? Not feel. Turn your back to me, please. Do you feel a pain? Not feel. The chest is painless on palpation. The determination of vocal fremitus. First area is supraclavicular forces. Put your hands on this area. Say 99, please. 99. 99. 99. Thank you. Then subclavicular forces and the second intercostal spaces. 99, please. 99. 99. 99. Thank you. For Samarin Gamer. 99. 99. 99. Thank you. Turn your back to me, please. Cross your hands over the chest. Suprascapular areas. 99, please. 99. 99. 99. Thank you. 99 once more. 99. 99. 99. Thank you. Interscapular areas. 99. 99. 99. 
Thank you. Twice. 99. 99. 99. 99. Thank you. Subscapula areas. 99. 99. 99. Thank you. In a result, the vocal frameitus is carried out with the same force of a symmetrical part, parts of the chest. The determination of torx elasticity. Right side, left side. Conclusion, the torx is elastic. Comparative percussion. Comparative percussion begins in supraclavicular process on linea clavicularis media. Press your first phalanx of plesimeter finger and apply two percussional strokes on this phalanx on left and right sides. Claviculus subclavicular forces Press your second hand to the second intercostal spaces and apply two percussional strokes on this phalanx on left and right sides. Then for submarine gamer. Up your hands, please. Comparative percussion. In force axillaries is carried out on the second phalanx in fourth and fifth intercostal spaces. Two strokes. Thank you. Turn your back to me, please. Cross your hands over the chest. Comparative percussion in suprascapular forces. Percussion in interscapular areas. And comparative percussion in subscapular areas. Twice. Thank you. For comparative percussion, a resonance lung sound is heard over symmetrical parts of the lungs. Comparative auscultation. For this, it is necessary stethoscope. Supraclavicular forces. Breathe deeply, please. Right side. Left side. Subclavicular forces. Second intercostal spaces. Breathe deeply. For Samarian game. Auscultation over trachea. Up your hands, please. Fossa axillaris. Right side. Left side. Right side. Left side. Thank you. Turn your back to me, please. Over your hands, the chest. Over the chest. Supra-scapular forces. Breathe, please.
interscapular areas. Subscapular areas Thank you We hear physiological bronchial breathing over trachea and we heard vesicular breathing over symmetrical parts of the lungs Additional uh, sounds are excellent. The lecture is over. Thank you for your attention. Success in studying the doctor's profession.